I want to talk to you about how stupid average fuckers, fuckers are. You know my super critical stepmother, yeah. who says the Archie Luxury program is embarrassment, I'm a clown and this and that. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you should close down your channel because it's, it's really very embarrassing to know that you're running this channel. Keep going, keep going. It's, it's, uh, it, you should be ashamed of yourself performing like a clown in front of strangers. That's all I have to say. You're going anxious. You have bad friends, bad friends. So she's put herself on a pedestal as a critic. She's free to do that, right? Well, let's fucking crit critique some of her choices. Okay. Okay. She gave us, myself and my wife, a, birth a Christmas present. Okay. She gave us a CD. Okay. It was Lung Lung. Yes. She gave it to us because the person in the record shop said it was a Japanese... Japanese penis. Okay, very wise. Well, that that just shows you how fucking stupid the average person is. <clears throat> right. right. I mean, she knows nothing. She pretends to be into this classical music shit, but she knows nothing. Do you understand? Because if you knew, if you knew classical music, you'd know that he's a scammer. That Lang Lang is a fucking Chinese scammer. He's a scammer. He's no different to the person who's putting out bootleg Louis Vuitton products. Let me tell you, I think that's an insult to the Japanese. <laughs> but do you understand? Yeah. This is how stupid. She's, she's a critique because she's already criticized the channel. Yes. So what I'm saying is she thinks she's a woman of class, right? Yes. She didn't realize he was Chinese and she didn't realize that he's a circus performer, not a classical musician. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? These are the same people who made the Beatles popular. The Beatles were very mediocre. The reality is they were mediocre. John was not that great a performer. Paul's not that good. And this is how unfair the world is. It is. It's never fair. It's more, there's more. Somebody told me that there is more politics in music than in politics. But do you understand, Greg? It's just so terrible. The this, this situation is terrible. And, and I just wanted to tell you there, this is how terrible it is. The reason they can get away with it, because it's unmeasurable. Well, they don't how, care. How they do don't you care. Start? You can't. They no don't care. No competition. Competitions are all rigged. A lot of great musicians don't, didn't even win any prestigious composition, uh, competitions. Greg. Volodos never won a competition. Even Langland didn't win a prestigious competition. Yeah, that's because he's not that good, but... Well, he's, he's not that good, but he didn't have to. He was very lucky. He was at the right place at the right time, at the right trend. Well, at that, it became trendy. Let's have an Asian dude become a limelight product. Yeah. That's it. And he's happy to do it because of his ego. Oh, that ego is tremendous. Okay, Greg, there we go. I just want to tell you, this is how the average person is a fucking moron. They don't know their classical music from their pop music. They have no idea of, of chromatic scales, arpeggios, chords. They have no idea what makes something hard or easy. Well, they can't even distinguish, you know, between the military polonaise and, you know... It just shows you how uncouth... It shows you how uncouth the average punter is. Is it the military polonaise or the American mayonnaise? <laughs> Thank you, Greg.